Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another run scheme for you guys today. Uh, another run scheme I got to show in gameplay because, like I said in the last video, um, the Pat specifically stated that um, the way that they addressed the uh, the run game when it comes to stretch plays and stuff like that was specifically based off of gameplay. So doing it in practice mode won't really do this play justice. So I got a couple of highlights here from some weekend league games and some regular games uh, where I'm going to show you how this is one of the most consistent run plays, one of the hardest run play schemes to stop in the game uh, i'm in the packers playbook i said that in the last video i'm pretty much using the packers uh pretty consistently uh and this play i'm going to show you today like i said i feel like post patch it's even more overpowered than it was in the past but ultimately i feel like this has been really good all year um, when i did my ebooks it was one of the uh the highest rated plays i usually rate my my plays in the ebooks with stars and these plays i'm going to show you i pretty much had like four or five stars on these which is about as high as i go uh from the very beginning of madden 21 because i think that this particular formation is new to madden 21. before i get into this one though uh this is the other run scheme that i put out a couple days back out of the iform wing i'll put a link in the description if you didn't catch that one that one is also very explosive but the one i'm going to focus on today is like i said the doubles y off i think it's new to man 21 i'm not 100 sure about that uh but this is a you know like i said from the second i ran this formation uh labbing stuff from my ebooks at the beginning of the year this was one of the best running formations that i found there's two plays that i'm going to use in it the stretch alert bubble is going to be one of them like i said the stretches are a little bit nerfed but you're still very successful and the o1 trap is really going to be um the bread and butter of this formation it's really a two play system and there's a really easy way to make your reads when it comes to running these plays it's really simple i mean if you have gaps in the middle this is going to accentuate those gaps it's going to make those gaps even bigger and almost impossible not to run through um, if you if you run this system right if they stack the box it's a different look but anytime you have spread defense like this which is ultimately what you're going to see a lot of especially if you're a passer like myself i mean i see a lot of boxes like this based off the fact that i have so many explosive passes that set up these type of run plays but anytime you have gaps in the middle this is going to give you multiple lanes to run through so on this first carry, I mean, you can see there's always going to be at least one giant lane like this. I mean, how can I not run through that? You could drive a truck through this lane. That's how big the lanes are that you're going to consistently get when it comes to this run play. I'm going to get about 10 yards down the field just about every single time before I even get somebody close to me. Now, that first run was probably the one of the best uh, run defense plays. You can see here he's going to try to stack the box, which is probably one of the better ways to attack a play like this. But it still doesn't really matter, even with this tight, packed look that he's going to try to hit me with i'm still going to have success i'm still going to have space based off the fact that i have six blockers and only has five guys available he actually backs off there at the last second anyway and then you can see we got another giant hole i mean like i said i'm running all i'm doing is running straight up the middle and we're getting these huge lanes i started the ball there about the 16 i got all the way to the 30 i got about 14 yards before the safeties had any luck or any chance of contacting me and i'm going to keep him in this look i mean i'm running to hurry up against this guy uh, because ultimately i know that you know he's in a not a good defense for a formation like this for a play like this and you can see like i said every time i'm getting about 10 yards before i get to the closest guy and everybody's pretty much just getting locked up on just about every run play now he's also in a two deep safety look so i don't really have a lot of wiggle but if he's in like a one deep safety look like uh, a cover one or something like that which a lot of people run i'm going to have even more success you can see like i say he's in a cover two man uh the next play like i said the stretch alert bubble one of the better counters uh to this formation of plays i also like to run the power alert bubble sometimes but i really find it's best just to stick to these two plays so if your opponent stacks the box like this, which you'll eventually do based off of how successful those inside runs are, you can really have success outside. But I want you to watch these two defenders here. This is one of the reasons that stretch plays are ultimately nerfed and are not as good as the as the inside runs are. The inside runs like the trap are so much better because watch how these defenders break outside. Like that's insane. That's not something that you typically see from stretch plays in the past. So it's one of the better ways to bottle up these stretch ones. But like I said, I'm just going to show you that later on these stretch runs still are very successful but it's that way that these defenders play the outside now that really is what makes 
um, the 01 trap that much more successful inside based off the fact that these defenders are just trying so hard to get outside contain, which is something you didn't necessarily see in the past. So a little bit further jumping ahead in this particular gameplay, once again, if, if they're if they're over-respecting the pass, which like I said, I passed 90% of the time, so I'm going to get these type of looks, these dramatic pass defensive looks, and then I'm just going to have these huge lanes uh, to gash pretty much all day. So, and like I said, if my opponent makes this mistake, he doesn't come out in something a little bit tighter. As you can see right here, he's going to go, he's going to switch it up again. Like I said, anytime they pack the box like this, that's a, it's a real easy read. If they, if they take away any inside lanes, there's no uh, a gaps right off the start. The stretch play is going to be the play. Like I said, I'm not having the most success against this particular opponent, but you can see there's there's definitely room for success to be had uh, when it comes to those to these stretch plays. And I, I do have a lot of runs where I get close, but I'm like right there. I just maybe made one guy miss, and I would have been gone. Um, so you know, it's definitely a good play. Here he looks like he run commits because I was pretty much just killing clock when I'm late in the fourth. And sure enough, I'm like I said, you, you're going to have these successful runs where a lot of times you're going to you're going to break big ones. So stick with it. If if they're packing the box, which ultimately your opponent's going to have to do, that's going to be pretty much your only read. So here we got another opponent. He's in a more traditional, you know, two linebackers in the box type of look. It's still going to work against a defense like this. We have six guys blocking, six guys in the box, and you can see we still have a really huge lane uh, right over the middle where everybody's pretty much locked up on their blocks, and I'm still getting 10 to 15 yards uh, before anybody even comes near me so while the weaker the box the better ultimately you're still going to have success just as long as it's not like a stacked box and you're in a three wide set so it's not like you're going to see like four three looks or anything like that or three four looks you're still going to see nickel looks at the very least on this next play i mean you know one of the things about running this play i'm really just sprinting straight forward that's one of the things that makes this play so insane is there's really nothing as far as you have to do um to to have success you get the ball you just sprint straight ahead and you're running through huge lanes i mean it's one of the easiest run plays to run in this entire game on the next play, like I said, it's so simple. All I'm doing is hitting the gas. The second I got the ball, I'm just sprinting right up the middle to try to get as much as I can. You can see every time there's a huge lane. It doesn't matter what my opponent's defense is in. Uh, unless, like I said, they're really packing the box. Now, this next game here, um, you know, same thing. Uh, the stretch play has a little bit more success. Like I said, the way the stretch play works, a lot of times you'll get like a one-on-one -on -one block with the tight end on the edge. You just kind of have to peel that back. As you can see right here, I peel that back, get a little bit of a break tackle, uh, and then I'm pretty much off to the races. I don't quite get going, though, on this next play as, as I get down to about the three. Um, but like I said, these are just super easy to run. In this game, uh, my opponent was really uh, leery of these run plays very early. You can see he's trying to do something. I don't know if he's trying to bait me, but he's definitely trying to bring this cornerback down to take away that power run, that outside run, that stretch. Uh, and sure enough, I mean, I'm not going to fall for it on the first play uh, because I saw he was kind of going in and out, in and out. But on the next play, I was like, you know what, if he's going to do that, I'm just going to make sure that I have my audible set, have a play where I can basically hit him with a streak. So if he's really going to think that that's the way to go and that he can get back in time, I mean, here I kind of just, I don't know, I guess the last play since I ran it anyway, you got a little bit lazy on the sticks. But you're going to see people get desperate like that. That's the thing. Like, it, it's really an overpowered run. That was only the second offensive series I had the ball, but he couldn't stop at the first series so badly uh, that the next series, I mean, this is only the third series, and he's coming out on a goal line defense, which, to be honest with you, the first play had a little bit of success. Because the cornerback got off his block, but a little bit further down the drive, he's still coming out of the goal line because he has no idea how to stop this play. Um, he just commits too far inside, and I just get a really easy run. So, like I said, it doesn't really matter what your opponent run, runs. It's a simple read. If there's gaps inside, you run the, the 0-1 trap. If they take away the gaps inside, you just have to hit them with a stretch. And then you can see how it's a very hard to stop uh, two-play series. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more gameplay, uh, money plays like this, or more plays out of the Packers, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below